it is what it do was good we back here with another video some more music video effects without any further ado we're gonna get right into it if you get any helpful information out of today's video make sure you walk up and smack that like button <laughs> If you haven't seen my last video, I'll go over rotoscoping. It's the key component for a lot of these effects. So I'm going to skip over that today. I'm going to leave a link in the description for that video and an annotation at the top. One of my tips in that video was to choose your shots carefully. I got my shot picked out here. It is actually the same shot I used in that video. I'm going to go in and split the clip. Then I'm actually going to hold Alt. I'm going to duplicate that clip. I got two duplicates of the clip now. I'm actually gonna go highlight all three of them. Right click, new fusion clip. Now, once you're in fusion, you should see media one, two, and three with two merge nodes. And it's the same clip three times. We're gonna go up here and pick the polygon node. We're gonna leave it unattached at the moment. Like I said, we went over this in the last video, so we're gonna skip over it today. All right, once you got everything masked out, you can take your node, and you're actually gonna connect it to media two. Now with this mask, of course you don't want to be masking out the same clip multiple times. It's going to take the output, connect it to this. It's going to give the same mask with both clips, or you can hit Control C and then Control V and paste it separately. However you want to set up your node tree. I'm going to bring these in a little bit closer. Now get to the desired effect that we want with the two, with the duplicates. You're going to go into the merge one here. You're going to hit. Gonna stay in, make sure we're in the first frame of the clip. You're gonna right click on center and hit animate. Or you can just hit the keyframe mark here. We're gonna go to about frame, let's see, what about the frame 14 right here? And then we're just gonna take this, move it out to the side. And if you want to bring it back in, we're gonna go back here to probably about frame 25. We're gonna hit the keyframe mark and then we're gonna go over one frame to 26. And up here we're gonna hit 0 0.5, bring it back to its original state. And it goes in. It gives you a quick copy with the animated motion and goes right back into place. Of course, you wanna smooth it out, so you can go into the spline editor, select merge one. Zoom to fit. We're gonna go select all, smooth out the curve. Then we're gonna close the spine editor. We're gonna go into settings and hit motion blur. Well, that's, my motion blur is already on. It's usually off by default. So you're gonna hit motion blur and crank it up to 10. You can leave the shutter angle at 180 and gives you a smooth enough uh, motion blur. Then what you're gonna do is select merge one, hit control C. I'm gonna go down here to this merge. I'm gonna delete it. You're going to post control or control V You hold shift on the keyboard. Make sure your node tree lights up, drop it, make sure it's placed. And you're going to take media three, connect it to media one copy or the merge one copy. And then you'll go over here to the spectrum tab. You're going to hit invert. Effectively, that'll give you two doppelgangers or two copies. Now you can move your copies in any direction you want. You don't have to have two, you can just have one. However you want to do it, just, just more or less like the base of the effect I usually see in different music videos. All right, this next effect is real simple. You're gonna go here and pick your polygon node. You're gonna hit Control C, Control V. You can connect it to the Mac or to your media one. And in the spectra tab with the polygon node, you're gonna hit invert. And if you play your keyframe, uh, play your clip back, you'll see that you got the same effect going here. But if you go back to the edit, edit page, I got a clip from, uh, I think I got this from Pixels, a free little clip of fire, flames, or whatever. You can get your little transparent cutout effect with the little flames in the background. All right, next we're gonna do a black silhouette. I'm gonna hit media one, and gonna hit control C. We're gonna drop down to the bottom here, and hit control V, we're gonna paste. We're gonna connect it to the merge. And then the back up here, we're gonna select it, hit control and space bar. Gonna get the color generator. Click that, hit add. Make sure it's attached. Now we're gonna go over here to the color. You can hit the drop down here or click on it. We're gonna go to black. Well, actually, you can change it to any color you want to. So we're gonna actually gonna do red for this. Go bright red. 
Now you notice too, nothing's nothing's showing up, nothing's happening. You gotta go here to the merge node. The merge actually has this clip here in the front or the foreground, which is green. So you need to select the merge two, hit control T, and it's gonna give you, it's gonna swap the two nodes around, or the inputs around. And now you got this red mess back here. That's not what you want. You're gonna go here to the polygon, take the input or the output, connect it to the mask, and now you have this red silhouette. Now this is not an effect that's in the video, but just something I'm gonna add in. Control and space, I'm gonna get the glow node. Oh shift, I'm gonna drop it down here in between the mask and the color generator. Move this up here, move this to the side here. Going to the polygon node, we're gonna hit solid, uncheck that. Make sure your border width is up just a tad, or you can drop it down, make it a little thinner. And we're gonna smooth out the edges a little bit, and it's just gonna give you a little, a little outline, a little glow outline. You can go into the glow and change the different settings, and go glow size, glow. change the color scale right here if you want well, most of the colors actually being generated from the color generator so leave it you got a little blue outline just some yes you can throw in now within that video is a few times they do like kind of like a little reverse segment thing where or actions are reversed you actually can go through here and you actually do that real quick and easy on the edit page and when you control r we're actually going to select the clip first hit control r and pick two points I'm going to pick a point here Hit the drop down, add speed point. I'm gonna go to the right for the transitions over, about right here. Hit the drop down, add another speed point. It's gonna point in the middle. You're gonna hit that and hit reverse segment. So now when the clip plays back, got a little little bounce back reverse action. With the reverse effect, if you wanna change the position or anything like that, instead of grabbing up here, which actually adjust the speed, and hit control Z to undo that. I'm gonna grab down here the little knot, the little node, and you actually can adjust its placement. So you can stretch it out a little bit longer and bring it in shorter. You can stretch it out a little bit, bring it all the way in. And get like a little two step. Hey, this is gonna do it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Remember, hit the Discord link in the description in case you have any additional questions or need any additional feedback. Like I said, the link is in the description down below. Or you can also hit me up on my social media links. They'll also be found in the description. And I'll see you next time.